is going on everybody so i have some good news i got an engine for the, the g8 but it's not going to be a permanent engine it's a lq4 six liter iron block i got the heads off of it and i got my blown up motor right there for it so i'm gonna take the crank out of there put it in here i got the arp main studs on the way throw my cam out swap everything over to this motor so that i can get the six speed swap done on this and actually drop this car again because i missed this car now the ls3 i have for it i'm just going to put that on the back burner right now so this is just a kind of quick fix to get this thing driving again and work out all the six speed bugs because i'm sure that i'm gonna have to have a whole lot of customization with it but it's a gen 3 block I painted the same color orange that the car is, exact paint code. I don't know if you can tell or not, but this is out of a van, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure. What is going on, everybody? So I'm back. It's been a minute. Yes, I know. Work has been crazy. Not an excuse, I know. But I have got the G8 in the middle. So let me uh, fill you guys on what I'm doing tonight and uh, what I've gotten. So I got a LQ4 block that I have taken apart. I put my crank out of the old motor because this has the 54 reluctor wheel on it. So I'm gonna be putting that, torquing this down tonight. My cam was good. Seven of my pistons were good. So I got an eighth piston. So technically I'm gonna make this a LQ9 LS2 block, I guess. And also, I got a TR6060. So, gonna start putting this, once this is in the car, or get this ready so I can mount this to that, we can actually start the trans swap and making this thing a six speed manual. All right, so I got my plastic gauge to check clearances on it. ARP main studs rod caps bearings main bearings and piston rings so i'm gonna pop this uh crank out i just have it sitting here right now pop this out and then put new bearings in it put the bolts in it or the studs in it and uh we're going to see how it goes all right so i got the bottom or i guess top bearings and i'm gonna put a little bit of oil on this and then put the crank in there and then throw the crank on top and then put the top bearings on it put these bearings in there and uh crank it down so i'm gonna put you on that camera i'm doing on time lapse so let's get it Pistons all have new rings on them. So all new rings, these are ready to go in. I forgot the uh, the freaking installer like an idiot. So uh, I can't put these in tonight, sadly, but we are rolling along with this. Um, I gotta get a cam bearing tool and do that. Get them out and replace them as well. But I gotta put this thing over and uh yeah we are uh getting some done tonight boys and gals all right so it is the next morning or next evening now but i got the piston ring compressor so we'll uh put that right there for now and I got some uh, better assembly lube. 
So I'm gonna start lubing these rings up and then uh, throwing these in the, uh, the block. So let's get it. So, pistons are in, seven of them are, so I'm still waiting on a rod. Um, the reason why I'm not like breaking down what I'm doing, because I don't want you guys to follow along and this end up being wrong, so. But all four over here, dots facing forward. I gotta get a rod, if I can get it today, finish that. And uh, next video will be can bearings, oil pump, and stuff to that nature. Butting it up, getting it ready to go in the car. So uh, I'm gonna close it out in here. I appreciate you guys watching and I'm back to filming. So if you enjoy the content, I appreciate it. So I'll see you guys on the next one, thanks.